time. I was it too tall. Be all the errors I came to my bed. Lungs, and I sound like I'm this. Tired. I'm done. It's 9 p.m. guys. I have a little mouse. Welcome to Cream Crew, where we've been talking for like an hour and a half before this. I'm Flash Gets Dawn. That's me, Canyon. Hunter. And that's Flash Gets Tom. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Tom. Did you, when you were a kid, did you ever really hurt one of your friends accidentally? No. Or, just, just me. No, I, uh, I never hurt him, but I had a friend who fell down a fly of stairs and broke his thumb. But it wasn't you that pushed him down the stairs. No. It was someone else. No, he just did it himself. So he a, just a, a stupid a, kid. A mystery little fat kid pushed him down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, some some random <laughs> fat hairy little man. <laughs> I was forty three at the time. We used to play with. Uh, we talk, I mean, we definitely talked about this, but like wooden swords and stuff, you know. And uh, what are you looking at? Your coffee mug. Look at look at the rim of your coffee mug in there. Like right here, it looks like fucking oatmeal. It's a whiskey mixed with uh, Bailey's, Bailey's and coffee. Did you see that? Chunks. Chunks. Big chunk vomit chunks. chunks. Curdled. Delicious. You, I feel like you intentionally try and get the most unappealing mug you can. No, I don't even care it about is, the chunks. It is kind of gross that you have like a little hard mug. <laughs> yeah. I like my mug. I don't think I've ever seen you with a mug where I'm like, oh, that's a nice mug. My favorite mug is the Disney princess mug. Yeah. You have a Disney princess mug? I do. I should bring it here. It's at home. I should have oh. it here though. Do you actually like Disney or is it just because of the Donald Duck thing that you like? It's because I have a little D on my shirt, like a cartoon character. My favorite. Yeah, one shirt. No, I've got a couple like that. You have multiple D shirts? Yeah. How many D shirts <laughs> do you have? <laughs> well, it's, it's embarrassing. So I don't wear them here. I wear them at home. And then I see myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh. Oh, I'm done. What, but, what, what, is, what, is, what, is, what is I am done. What does that mean? Like, oh, like this is good. Yeah, it's good. Well, why don't you wear it here then? Because you guys don't appreciate class. Well, regardless of what we well, think, what, what, you no, no, no. what, what you happens? Like what happens is I get on this podcast and we get bogged down by mm. silly things like that and not important things like the. It's time happening I, anyway. You might as well at least wear the t-shirt that you t- like. The time I hurt my friend when I was a kid. That's what I wanted to talk about. I just I there in your closet or in your drawer you have multiple shirts that have the well, letter D on it because your two, name's Don. Two and it, it is the Donald Duck you, shirts. The two Donald You Duck look shirts. at me right now and try to tell me that isn't something that like Forrest Gump would do. Forrest Gump didn't do that. But he, is it something? But he literally would did you, not. Would, would he you, did not. Would you, you disagree? No, would you no, disagree? You, would you disagree? Yeah, I'm disagreeing. That a, I'm no, disagreeing no, you haven't heard it. me. You haven't heard you, what you, In this movie, you see his entire life play out and not that's once true. is he wearing a shirt with an F on it. And that's retarded, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is that you're not, what I mean, just, I, I mean, I don't know. It, it feels like, I, I, never mind. If I if I'm the odd man out here, then what, I'm, what I'm is crazy. the point you're making, sir? It seems like something somebody with Down syndrome would do. Yeah, have you ever seen <laughs> someone with Down syndrome? syndrome do that, though? Yes. When there's a kid named Pete in my hometown, he and would he wear had a shirt. shirts. He, that had, said he, had, he had a shirt that he would wear. He had multiple shirts in different colors. It was the same <laughs> shirt, and it had the name Pete on it, like a fucking name tag. Because in case he gets lost, it's like a collar. So is it like an ironic thing that you like it, or is it just like, oh, like my name's Don? That's cool. I am introspecting about it. I just like it. I you like just went with your heart. Yeah. Exactly. It's just a gut feeling. A gut feeling. Okay. Well, I can respect that. I'm just curious. Donald, Donald Duck on my shirt, a little D. You'd ask good. Lexi to call you Big D. I don't. Mm, you should. You should. Yeah, that's the move. Yeah. That's the, that's the natural brand. progression of Would it. you say, how big do you, how big's your dick? It's a good size. It's not crazy. It's a good size. That seems very humble. Me and Tom I'm, actually I'm, have the same cup size. We did, We discovered. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Well, through the, through the course of our relationship, we have discovered that we're both growers, not showers. And oh yeah, we, for sure. And we both. Uh, I measured my dick the other day. We we just came recently. We, we yeah. came to this joint. Uh, under, we talked about it once. We came to this joint understanding because mm. we uh, commiserated about a I can't remember what, but a specific brand of condom not fitting. Magnum. And then you said we have the same cup size, and I was like, we do, Tom. And that was a special moment. What do you mean? That's just what you said. Your cup size, what like, you, a, like, a, like a, you mean? a cup, is like the thing. That's when you when you play balls. baseball, you gotta your cup. cup you size. Put your cup in your pants. Uh, yeah. I don't remember this at all. It was your it was your Oof. quote. I just appreciate it. I carried and it with so, me this whole and time. And so the story unveils even more. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I'm not. I'm not oh. saying you're wrong. I just don't remember this. You know, when Hunter moved here, I thought you and I would grow closer, but I just feel unraveling every day. I'm not gonna like say I remember something. You guys I don't saw remember. each other dicks, and now you forgot. I've about never it? seen his dick. Never, never You've never seen a dick. No. Oh, right. I think you're saying that. At 15, how years, do you know? How did you know about the cup size then? We just had this discussion. Did we? Did we tell each other in inches? No. Like, did you show him? Oh the cup? well, no. I mean, like, there's only three cup sizes, like small, yeah, medium, I mean, and like, large, you right? A, you could have a big cup that's like, yeah, I have a big dick, and you have a mm -hmm. tiny dick that's still protected in the same big cup. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I don't th how does that work though? Would you wear a big cup if you had a small dick? Because it's Absolutely. just well, some, I, did, I did, and I have. <laughs> some people might. Yeah. I did, and I have. I'll tell you one time. No, no, this, well, this, we, this, hey, this is a funny you, story. You know, if you were a serious athlete, mm. unlike you. Mm. Wouldn't you want to restrict, minimize restriction? <laughs> I'm trying to tell a funny, degrading story about myself. It didn't sound like that. No, no, no. I'm telling so, you that. It sounded when like I, an when unfunny, funny, self-masturbatory story. No, no, no. When I was in baseball, I had, when you're, when, like, I started playing baseball, like, I couldn't believe I was like six or seven. I got a new cup when I was 10 years old. And I remember when I was at 13, I was still wearing that same cup. And I took it out, <laughs> and my friends on the other baseball team were like, that's your cup? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and they're like we got, we got a little baby dick i'm like no no way and like if you could if, if i was to ever pulled down my pants and be in a porno it would literally look like like a fat girl's thighs with like just like a thumb you peeking out of a like big, big bush plate, basically kind of damn bro pretty much and it kind of skews to the side it's just like not impressive all around it goes to the side it it, it curves Curves, okay, okay. Like it's a like pig's tail. If if if, if, if there, there's a twist in a curve, because you're doing like, like little, if, you're, if you're if your dick if your dick was like <laughs> your dick was hanging down like this, right? Normal dick. Mine just it's like it, it turns. Oh, it turns. Wow, a corkscrew. So so the head is askew. It's like a little tilted to the side. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like saying, "Give me a kiss on the cheek." <laughs> 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 it's saying it's, it's, saying it's plant, bashful. It's saying it's saying plant one right I'm there. Just, I just got a little bashful dick. Yeah, he's, 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 not, he's not. He's not. Yeah, exactly. A little tiny, little, little bashful boy. Little bashful boy. Little blushing boy. I like that. Mm. I can't wait for this to get manly reviewed. It's not going to take very long. Ah, I'll be all right. What's yeah. manly reviewed? This is uh, educational. Mm -hmm. Well, every time we post a podcast, they are yellow dollared, and then we have to post it on Thursday. So this is really a Wednesday podcast that comes out on Thursday at this point. You're welcome. But uh, the biggest reason being that this keeps happening. But, uh, you know, really, we're just cutting to the chase, so we'll make it easy on them. Mm. You know? How, uh, 15 how, minutes in. How disparate is your grow to show ratio? Because mm. mine's bad, man. Mm. Like, if I... if I feel like anyone that says that feels like it's bad. Like, I don't have a way to gauge that. It, you know? so, so for me, when it's erect, it looks big. Mm -hmm. When it's not erect, it looks small. Mm -hmm. So if I like pull my trousers yeah, down in front of a woman, she'd be like... Yeah, yeah, but sometimes not erect is like... Like, I feel like it varies based on the temperature, you know? I, I guess, but it's... I don't know if it's that you, much of a Because your dick, your dick is actually like a, a heat hood to facilitate maximum sperm production. So it will extend or lengthen and your balls will extend or lengthen to you like... Uh, insulate your balls to right. make them the right temperature. Well, yeah, but I mean, th th the, the sheer fact of the matter is whenever you're in a cold space, you have the excuse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's a tiny day. What's so cold in here? It's like a fucking hot, humid day. <laughs> and you like look at it and you're just like, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> come, come on, man. I, I feel like uh, the grow to show ratio was a 23andMe test before 23andMe was a thing. Because, like, that is. Did you grow up in a northern... Were you evolved in a northern climate? <clears throat> he's, yeah, he's saying genetically, if your dick is designed to keep your balls warm, then you have a, a low grow to show. Mm. Well, no, what I'm saying is if, if you're running around the fucking snowy plains of northern mm -hmm. Europe mm -hmm. with a giant flaccid dick, it's mm -hmm. going to get frostbite and fall off. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's the so nomad's it fault. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's so okay. well, it's pulling in close. Yeah. Sure. So, so it, it gets smaller, so it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't it be bigger so it could have more warmth? Well, no, because then more heat escapes. Yeah, that's you. You're, you're pulling in within yourself. I thought that the survival tactic is if you're ever, if you're ever, uh, if you're stranded with people to stay warm, you huddle together. Yeah, so that's what. So I imagine to keep it's, your legs warm, you'd press your you press your thighs up against your big old dick. And no, I mean, it's, it's, too, it's too much dangle. It's why your fingers fall off first. I mean, but th by. think think of, so the way obviously evolution works is 
people who die for any reason don't get to pass on their genes. The theory of evolution, so, not proven. Right, of course. So if a man is spending five to six hours of his day having to huddle against his giant dick, yeah, he's so not spending he's, that time fucking. He's wonder, also not running too fast from those wolves. Yeah, the wolves can like well, nip at his it, cock well, as well, it yeah, like flaps if, behind him. If, 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 only, if, yeah, if yeah. only he had a small dick, he could have outrun those wolves. Not a small dick, a small flaccid dick. You know what? And that's what all those women thought for all that time, and that's why we're growers, not showers. I'll tell you right. what, I, I tell you that, what. That I, man I doesn't look like he can run from a wolf. If I had a big old dick, I would press him. God, he's streamlined. I'd press him between my thighs. And I do like a little shuffle. I'd walk like a penguin across the landscapes. <laughs> if on, my, on my deathbed, at, on my deathbed at thirty-two, I'd sit there and I'd be like, "Remember, generations from now, remember that I gave you all this big dick." <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Well, that's what I'm saying. When the pack is bearing down, you got to start weighing your priorities. Like, I want this. Do I want this dick to fall off, or do I want to get eaten by a wolf? I feel like yeah. I feel like a general consensus would be like e e get eaten by the wolf. Eat I feel like I feel like men would be like <laughs> I would rather get eaten by the wolf <laughs> than have a tiny dick. Why my dick's huge? I swear. Yeah, you never really answered my question though. Mm -hmm. well, it's like the question? ratio. So, so when you say ratio, like like how small is your dick compared to like, to like when it grows yeah. to standards? Mm -hmm. It's definitely less than half. Yeah. But I, I don't know how far, like maybe a third, maybe less. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying, Hunter? What do you mean? No, he's Croatia. got bashful cock. Oh, but well, yeah. That's, oh, I have a tiny no, that's, that's erect. Bashful erect. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, oh, wait. I thought it it was bashful certainly, all times. How could it be yeah, bashful yeah. at all times? It's just hanging. Yeah. It's gravity. Just cute. It's just little all the time. So you, you no, I call it Stuart Little. So you just really have less skin on one side. It's like always. It's just got a taut on one side. Kink in it. Whenever it gets hard, it fucking curls up <laughs> and it points right back at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little candy cane. Hey, that's a little uh, G spot tick, bro. I do. Woo! That might be the optimum shape. It's true. Women love it. Yeah, it just like sits on except their G spot. Except when they sit there, like, <laughs> except when they sit there and they're just like, "You have the perfect size dick." And I'm like, "You shut your fucking eye. You shut up." <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop babying me. I'm happy with it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I do one of those. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "You still want to go to Chipotle?" Yes. <laughs> 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 and that's how those conversations go. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm. Well, I started this discussion alluding to when I... All right, you, no, 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 you, hurt, right. you hurt your friend, you Let's fucking push him it. down, you're a devil child, we know. Dude, dude, I don't, I don't, we don't need to talk about it, but I, I wanted <laughs> to... Your dad, your, dad, hey, well, your dad told me about I'm, it. I'm, I did it, what'd he say? Mm -hmm. Do that the voice. little son of a bitch mm -hmm. is the most vile, evil person I've ever met in my life. One time when he was nine, he pushed his friend down. And got on top of him. And got on top of him. Mm -hmm. Pulled down his chair, and trousers. And he, <laughs> and he rode him. And he he rode him. Like he <laughs> rode him. He hurt him real good. He hurt him bad. He hurt him real bad. <laughs> the kid. <laughs> I'm like. The coach said, "Boys will be boys." I said. I said. He enjoyed Don's it too much. Dad, are you saying that Don mounted himself on another child? He looked at me like this. He said, "Mm hmm." <laughs> Can you imagine our response in a police interrogation? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we get can we get an affirmation verbally? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we need a yes or no. He's <laughs> he's coming down in uh, a couple weeks. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Gotta have yeah. him on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta have him on. Gotta have him on. Just just so everyone else knows, he listens to every other episode. Why every other? Why not every episode? No, he listens to all the episodes. I think he said every other. No, every other. You know, he's like. I numbers the last one. I skip this one and I listen to the next one. That's my ritual. I didn't listen to that one. The one before. So does that mean that you won't be in this podcast? Is that how? Is that how it has to work? That's kind of fun. I don't know. Maybe that's how we should do it. Yeah, I'm yeah, done with that. I, I feel like whenever I talk to your parents, though, it's going to be something where it's like, because I sometimes don't understand anything you say. I feel like since they're so much older, they'd be like, hey, we want you to be a fuck, but we know what you do. My dad will, I don't know what you do. Yeah, you'll be Sensory like. Sensory overload. <laughs> I would worry, though, because talking to your mom went so well. Mm. So, so well. Just, yeah, just talking. He knows how much I'm really It's gonna be really funny if Don walks in here and he's pretending to be his dad. I am 
Oh. Are you Don Stratt? Like Don, we know it's you. How are we doing? Mm-hmm. I'm a going? big dick. <laughs> <laughs> I got my, my my son inherited my penis. It's massive. <laughs> it's awesome. It's so cool. <laughs> well, then pull it out. <laughs> no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. Nope. Are you sure you don't pull it out? Mm hmm. Goes right back to. Mm hmm. Don's dad's affirmations are that of a sassy black woman. He listens to every episode. What's his favorite episode then? He has to have said, that was Daddy, your best don't one. Listen. Daddy, don't listen. What? That's me. Daddy. No, no, I mean, that's the one he called me afterward. Because he I did love listen. that story. That's such a good yeah, story. Yeah. We've told yeah, that right well, on air. Listen, yeah. listen, Don. What was you the story? keep smearing me. <laughs> well, that was the one where he said that you, you do not have a gun. Is that the one where he said you don't have a gun because you need to pull on yourself? And he's I like, think Boy. he's called off to several. <laughs> You've had some revealing episodes. Said, I, I did like that. We talked about that. Was it, right? was it the one that we haven't posted yet? Or the one that's supposed to go off? Is that the one where you're like... Because I say, oh, you didn't talk about your porn. And you're like, wait, I said that? Do you remember that part in the episode? It's hard to keep track of all the Dawn impressions sometimes. I evolve. <laughs> I'm Dawn! No. It's, I'm see, Dawn! Tom, that's Hunter, Hunter. That's actually, Tom. Tom is trying I'm to make that Dawn! stick to me. Though. I'm Tom! I'm, I'm Dawn! I'm Tom! 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 I
So you're afraid of heights then? That's not touching the sky. You're still on ground. Well, you can still like put yourself up high up in the air and be like, I'm. T- on- hey, if I walked off a cliff, I'd be touching the sky and then I would die. And I'd be afraid of that. Would you consider that flying? Briefly. Hmm. I just consider that falling. Well, which is which know, is which is a, it's which a, is a, it's a reason a why <laughs> which is a reason why you wouldn't go up high because you're afraid of heights because you'd fall. No, I'm not afraid of heights though. Here's the thing: it's not at all logical. It's purely irrational emotion. I just want you to hear you say that you're afraid of heights, but I'm not. No, 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 That's the but, root problem. But, but I'm with, not. But with, with I have the, pictures of me standing looking over the edge of cliffs. With the way your brain works, it must be predicated on something. It must be predicated on something. Like, what is the irrational thing it's predicated on? Like, what the plane crashing? Okay. And what is that predicated on? I know it goes more at least two steps. I know I know it like is ultimately irrational, but it must be at least two steps. Plane the plane crashes okay. and I die. Why why do you think the plane's gonna crash? It's I don't think it's gonna crash. I'm just worried it will. Do you feel the same when you get in a car? No. Statistically, Tom. Yeah, it's not logical. Mm-hmm. Hence why I still fly. I because really, statistically I, I'm not I gonna thought, die. I thought you kicked this one though. We've talked about this before. I can, I can get on a plane mm-hmm. and fly. I don't let it stop me. But still, part like, of me like, is are you, sure. Are you like this the whole time? <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just one of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as I blow myself. Hey, yeah. <laughs> this is my coping I'm mechanism. I'm a grower, not a shore. It gets bigger, I promise. Just throw up all over your mouth. Do you have Sprite? Throw <laughs> <laughs> that car. Uh, so yes, I if, would like some orange juice. The guy juice. was blowing himself on a plane. He's like. Argh! And the car like walks or like the you know the hostess. Mm-hmm. We have Coke, we have Sprite, and we have peanuts. And you're just like, <sighs> like get out, <laughs> like just drip. I'll take a Sprite, thank you. <laughs> Who would take a Sprite though? I would. I love Sprite. Yeah, of course. I do yeah. love Sprite. You take Disgusting. a Sprite whenever you fly. You take the Sprite. You don't whenever, take the Coke. I, no, no. Whenever I fly, I drink water. My move is orange juice and the little nuts. I like the nuts. You don't. You don't get any. Uh, Little vodka. I know you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do well, not as it, so. not of late because of the COVID thing. They don't do that. Really? So, they don't let you get drunk. No. Why? Because they don't. They don't do it like any, they don't. They don't do like any open container stuff. Because before at the, on the cart, you they would have. They don't give you the bottle. They'd have to like unscrew it, and then they would do that. Oh, they give you the bottle. <sighs> flying on British Airways anyway. I wonder if it's because it's international. It's a long flight. I mean, even before mm-hmm. COVID, the last several times I flew, they give you like a little mini. Yeah, it's like a little sh- the shot one. They don't do that anymore either. Whenever That's I cool. never had, I never had it. They always would open it and they would make it there because it's like kind of a whiskey and coke, and they would take the coke mm-hmm. thing and do that. Because before. Like one time I've ever been on where they give you the shot and then they give you like the can you can yeah, like, yeah, yeah. make it yourself. But I don't know. They just didn't do that. They like last couple times I've flown, they have done it to where it's like pre-sealed stuff and they don't do any of the other stuff. I'll tell you the first time I ever came to America, I sat down next to a pasta, like a pasta, you know? Mm. A, 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 holy man. Yeah, a holy yeah, man. Okay. And he talks to me about God the entire way. That's and awesome. then when the plane was landing, uh, he stood up and sang the American national anthem. Why? I'm not joking. Oh, you, yeah, God. that's how I knew I was going to a different country entirely. I was like, "What was this? This wouldn't happen." <laughs> what was the surrounding context? He's just one asshole singing the song. No, so he oh, was. Come on, that's a good guy. No, he, he's a, he's a good guy. He came, he came he, back he, with. Did his... he ask you if you had given yourself to God and stuff? Is mm-hmm. did he ask you if you're religious? Because I feel like they always kind of squeeze that in there. Oh yeah, no, I like argued with him the whole way. Well, were you a dick or was it just a nice conversation? It was a nice conversation. Nice I wasn't conversation. like a cunt about it, but yeah. I I was clear that I, you know, I'm not religious. Yeah. You know. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, he had he was coming back with his youth group from fucking Africa or something. Uh, so I guess some of them joined in his song. And I was like, this is kind of awesome. <laughs> no, that is awesome. That's it. I was like, these people like, still have a pulse. I, Holy they, shit. I feel like they could have sang anything and I would have been happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what's the worst though? I mean, people say this all the time, but it's whenever you land and people clap. Oh, they did that too. I hate that. I know that that's like a common complaint, but I just... Mm-hmm. What the... F- I, mean, I, I mean, to be fair, it's just like... I don't clap whenever my plumber... Fixes my pipes. Did a I man just should. fly you through the air at fucking forty no, thousand oh, feet? No, a fucking at six hundred miles per hour. Am I, I mean, basically, did the, the man not watch the computer at six forty thousand feet, six hundred miles per hour? It would be funny hour. if they stopped dressing like captains. They dress like more like Geek Squad. <laughs> All right, have a good flight, guys. He's like shuts the door. <laughs> well, they do have to take off and land, Hunter. It's not all computers. No, well, obviously. Mm-hmm. There's obviously it's obviously an important job, but I just mean like airplane technology has gotten so fucking sophisticated that it's like Hey, we have a pilot downstairs. 
Do I need to bring him in? I was going to say, Justin, go ahead and splice in your look of autistic rage. Obviously, there's it's a skill, and he has flown planes that don't have that those giant. Well, I mean, but but apparently. Small plane or gigantic plane, the same skills translate. But yeah, I mean, the whole job well, is assume, getting it off the ground. Yeah, and like that, that's all, and those are the obviously the most important ones mm -hmm. elevation and the fucking landing or whatever. But yes. I just mean, like, but I feel like at a, at a certain point, it's just about making sure you're going in the right. I, I, I would be curious. I'm obviously talking on my ass, but I just feel like once in the air, I wonder how much it is just like. It's basically all autopilot until yeah. something goes Which wrong. Which is awesome. And then you need the pilot. And then you need the, the guy there. But I just mean, yeah. So yeah. it's if, if I would you know it's a time to applaud is if it starts to crash and then fucking I tell you what <laughs> hold on uh, ladies and gentlemen we're descending into the earth's fucking crust people are like ah, 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 screaming in the back and it's like if you're screaming that's not shut the anything. fuck up <laughs> he's just like Bob he's just like I fuck he's like we're gonna fucking do it together motherfucker he like slaps his hand. <laughs> He's like, fucking pull up, pull up. He's like, I don't think we're going to make it. He's like, fucking believe. Ah! Ah, fucking put, put the fucking letter. He's like, clicking all the clicks and stuff, you know. He's like, uh -huh. you motherfucking give. Give, motherfucker. It's like, stops. He's like, Is everyone okay back there? And everyone's like, "Whoa, you did!" That would be a time to applaud. I applaud the engineers. <laughs> I applaud the Wright brothers. <laughs> I stand up and I say, "The Wright brothers, <laughs> you did it, boys!" I applaud the people who bought economy seating, and they have to walk by the people in first class. And they don't you strangle those people. You sit there in first class and you applaud the plebs walking by. Except you don't because you get off first. <laughs> <laughs> they have to walk by. That's, that's the biggest insult that the airlines do. Whenever you're trying to get on a plane, that's the worst part. Mm -hmm. The people that pay the most, they put them up there so people can oh, on the way so you can right <laughs> past them. <laughs> You know what would be more generous is, all right, now we're accepting first class because they fucking have the thing shut so you can't tell who is in first mm. class. Because you know how many times you can imagine somebody has walked by and they're like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Kid sitting there, come, Rebecca, come on! Ah! 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 Screaming and they're like yeah. sitting there and you're like, the guy's like, the guy's like bent back and he's like, Ugh. like, he's like <laughs> she's like, has like a fucking bakery basket full of treats and stuff. The fucking hostess walks by and just throws peanuts at the guy with the family. Yeah. There you go. There's your fucking plastic wrap of seven peanuts. The guy upstairs like has like a French loaf. He's like, mm, you know. <laughs> and the, th and the <laughs> an even bigger insult is they fucking draw the curtains that are mesh. Mm. You can still kind of see through it. Mm. <laughs> so it's like sitting there. Imagine you're in first class you're like, or you're like in economy, you know. And then the guy in first class, you're like, you're reading a magazine. You like look up, and then you see through that mesh. The fucking guy in first class is just like looking back at you. Yeah, it gives you something to aim towards. Yeah, the guy in first class is just like <laughs> gives you something to aim towards. <laughs> yeah, he's like it's a little no inspiration. That's why the mesh is see through. <laughs> he has like a bundle of roses. Have you ever flown first class? <clears throat> Once. And it was like a jump up. You didn't pay for it. Uh, no, I didn't pay for it. My family didn't pay for it either. Yeah. So it was like a a gimme. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty cool too. I've like, never flown first class. There was there was like a there was like a, a a warm arrangement of nuts that everyone got, but it had cashews in it, so I couldn't have it. And then the stewardess gave me like her snacks. Um. Yeah, it's fucking service, dude. But when I was a little kid. And it's funny, my, my uncle is a pilot, um, so he's able to get us, like, seats and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he got my mom, who was a single parent at the time. And oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> sympathy. <laughs> sympathy. Oh, my God. That's she was a single, she was a single, single mother. Single parent. It's, hey, it's, it's pertinent. Dude. Imagine that. Hear me out. Yeah, my mom was a single mom, too, and she's a 
Fucking the dumb. airlines take EBT cards. <laughs> so. <laughs> How much did your dad pay for the ticket? Am I right, guys? <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead. Finish your statement. My uncle got her and us, three siblings, four people, plus himself, first class tickets to Hawaii through his pilot perks or whatever. Right. Um, And we were getting on the plane to to first class, and me and my brother allegedly were being little assholes and, like, screaming and knocking shit over, like, outside of the gate. That's hard to believe. Yeah, that's what happened. I feel like you wouldn't. I was a different person. I was a different person. Something something between then and now So you were pretty young. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the gate agent said, like, she pulled my uncle aside and says, yeah, there's no way. Those two, not, no, not first class material. So we all Don't got, mind. we all got downgraded to economy because someone had to watch us like in economy, you know? So everyone had to skip the first class seats and load. So you felt like a fucking jackass then? I had no idea. I was a little kid. I don't even remember it happening. But oh, it's funny because about it. he, I mean, you were there, but he told us that that was the reason, cause he was still a young guy at the time. That was the reason he didn't have kids. Dodged a bullet, buddy. <laughs> That's interesting, man. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you guys something. If you're getting on a plane, you know how you see like the pilots get in, they have like the little briefcase in there, like coffee. I, th- I thought I saw Rick, you know, whatever. Back, yeah. You know. If you're sitting by the gate and you're just waiting to get on the plane, what would be the worst thing you would overhear the pilot saying? Yeah, it would be this. Yeah, I think my period's coming on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, like, mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 the pilot's kind of PMSing. I think. The, the pilot's a woman. Yeah, the, <laughs> 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 the yeah, the, yeah, the pilot's a woman today. Oh, yeah, she's really great. She passed first class of her school, mm. maybe the best in the business. <laughs> I'm just like... I had... I asked this... I asked this question because... When I was flying home from Canada, <clears throat> the the pilot was on the phone with his wife, and he was it was like around Christmas time. Mm-hmm. Actually, it was like New Year, like right around the New Year's, and he was arguing about like seeing his daughter, and I guess like he was just like you can't, she like basically being like he was not going to be able to see her or whatever, and he was in the sheer frustration at this moment. I was like, this is where he ends it all. Yeah, hey, what happens? That fucking German pilot crashed everyone into a nice mountain. You know what I would do if I was going to do that, or if I wanted to like fuck with people and I was a pilot? Yeah. I'd go up to a kid and be like, we're going down. <laughs> hey, say, scream we're going down the whole time during the flight, and I'll give you some Snickers. That's what I'd say. I'll give you a Tootsie Roll <laughs> if you scream that the whole time. We're going down! We're going down! Please stop. No one, would be, no one would believe No, no, the though. pilot told me. Uh, no one would believe the kid. That's the problem. You're not Dude, causing I'm any tired. chaos. I would do it to where it's like one of those kids where he looks like like highly functioning autistic or something yeah. to where it's like, to like where it's smart. He's like, has like, it, I'd go up to a kid that has like a calculus book and he's like seven. And Asian. That doesn't matter. It but does. He, no. But he said there. It does. And, no. But it he does. There, no. But it he does. Sit, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you would sit there and you'd you would, believe an Asian person more than like a white guy saying the plane's going to go down. I wouldn't give a fuck. If I saw a kid sitting there and he's like a respectful kid and the kid like looks over and he's just like, we're going down. That would fuck me up. I mean, if, if, to be fair, if it was a, if it was a little kid and an Asian kid, and he looked like he really meant it, I, you would why believe is, the Asian Why would it matter? Because <laughs> they're no nonsense. What? They're no nonsense. Almost robotic. robotic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would do if I was a pilot yeah. wanting to end it all, Hunter? I would divert to Saudi Arabia and get some goddamn revenge. Um, How about that? Ooh, I'm trying to think of a time in my life where I could ever do a final destination situation. I gotta get off this plane, guys! Come on! Yeah. And they're like, whatever, loser. And then, like, the, they, like, take off, and I, like, tell everybody in the fucking, like, lobby, they're all gonna die! In the lobby, they're all dead! Yeah. That must have happened after that movie. Surely someone was, was hilarious and, yeah. <laughs> guys, watch this, they get fucking tased. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting... <laughs> if, it was, if it was pre-9-11, pre though, they'd be like, ah, silly. It's only um, post 9 11. It is kind of funny. Like, uh, <clears throat> it is kind of funny to think about what airports must have been like back then. That's only. That's <laughs> kind of weird. What do you have a cast iron pan for with, like, a selection of knives? The guy's like, I'm a chef. <laughs> like, All right. Well, hey, don't be cooking too go. much goodies for people on the plane. What about you? I, I'm a hunter. Oh, well, okay. Here's a rifle going yeah, through. Yeah, it's like, well, that's kind of odd. You have a 50 caliber black 
rifle here. It's like, well, I'd have fun on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> it might not fit in the overhead. Yeah, but that, that's why I imagine planes like back then, just guys like scoping out the, inside the plane, and, like a guy, like a chef. <laughs> <laughs> it was way more fun. People smoking cigarettes and stuff all Did the time. If you look at planes from like back in the 60s or whatever, they look fucking luxurious. It was a better time. Yeah, it was. Nobody gave a fuck. It was just a smoke pit in there. Yeah. Barbara. Just like, she's like, huh? Huh? Just crusty skin, bags under her eyes. She slept like 12 hours the night before. She just horrible because of all the smoke. Mm. He's like, do you want a cigarette, dear? She's like, no, thank you, dear. I'm fine. I'm going to eat this apple fritter with you just like nothing but just sugar. Yeah. And shit. Mm-hmm. yeah like, that's just all that was it was. Beautiful. But because there wasn't, they had to walk everywhere. So everybody was just like skinny fat the whole time. Mm-hmm. That's one trend. Do you think the trend of like wearing your pants all the way up like past your belly button will become popular again? Remember when that was stylish back in the day? Oh. You still see old people do it. Oh, but do you I see. You wear your pants up and the rim of your pants are above your belly button. I, you know, I, I have no idea what crazy trends are coming. Skinny jeans are out. I saw some woman wearing some like 70s bell bottom kind of shit mm. the other day. The hippie thing will always never be pop, but you will definitely see art horse doing it for sure. I'm I, I'm free. I think it is pop now. Is there anyone like less cookie cutter than a fucking art whore? No. Yeah, because it's the, the part- irony is mm. extreme. Mm-hmm. Truly extreme. Yeah. Well, it seems like every art whore has bangs. Mm, yeah, and like oversized glasses. Like oversized these. glasses and one of those bowl hats that you would see like. Oh my Johnny god! Depp if wearing. I see a woman wearing a bowl hat, I just fucking slap it off her head. Allison sat there last night and she was like, "I want a bowl hat." She was like, "What do you think of this is a bowl hat?" I just said no. Yeah. You didn't say no. You you stated with a foot to the ground, no. No, I said, I said this, baby. I said, whatever you want, baby. You're my queen. You you're my flame. So you're my princess. muse. Love you. Oh, $80, yeah. No, but, oh my God. That's a good price. No, for, what it, for what it is, I mean. That's not bad. You, you, you'd be full of do, do you want it? Do you want it? That's going to appreciate in value. No, none of that. That's going to help you draw. No, no, none of that. I would just be like, you, you, you're, you're so beautiful, baby. I think you'd look really good in that hat. <laughs> no, I don't want anything. Yeah, no, whatever you want. Do you think I'd look good in this? You'd look terrible. Yeah, you're probably right. That's yeah. how it goes. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to get that. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... Uh... I also don't trust guys who wear soccer jerseys regularly. Same as I don't trust guys who wear, like, football jerseys out. What are you doing? I think, uh, especially in America, like, a guy wearing a, a soccer, soccer jersey, yeah. much worse. Uh, well, you got a question where that man's allegiance is lie. Unless it's, unless it's game day, I've seen a guy go get a haircut in a, like a Chiefs jersey. I'm like, why don't you just put on a fucking shirt? Well, it's a big deal. I'm like, just looks you look foolish. I, I you sir look like a fool. <laughs> you are f- sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just uh, in in general, I feel like any man who has to put so much of himself into his like sport team. It's probably failed as a man. Do you think that people can't have interests though? Is it, is it any different than wearing a metal t-shirt? Uh, yeah, because you don't go to talking to people in your metal t-shirt and say, we played a great show last night. We had that crowd going crazy. Whereas people who like sports are like, we fucking dominated last night. There's so much more of themselves in it. They think they helped. They didn't help. They helped with buying merch, maybe. I think you're in a, it's like a local little tribe thing. You see it it is yeah. community, but the the yeah. reason they feel the need to you invest themselves yeah, yeah, so yeah. hard you're in it cer- is because they're certainly a, a simpleton. But you know, can people not have something to hold on to in their life? Absolutely, but if they need it that much, then they probably failed. Yeah, but even if they know they failed, can they not have that? Oh, they pleasure? can have it. I just you know, I know I like, they failed. I like the fringe angle. I like wearing a Vegas Golden Knights hoodie, even though I haven't watched a game of hockey. Why I, do you? Because I think the Knights Knights are cool. They don't. The fucking helmet on that on the thing yeah, they doesn't did even look fu- like a they knight. Did, they did fuck it. It looks like a spot. Like, yeah, it's like an elf helmet. It's dumb. Well, also, it's just like I have such a pet peeve with that. Why? It's like wearing a band shirt that you don't listen to. Mm. Makes no sense. They're, they're the best. You should, why don't you just start watching Knights and just they're, claim they're, to be a fan? They're the best. There you go. They're new. That, whenever you tell people that story from now on, on fucking lie. <laughs> I don't. I don't lie. I never lie. <laughs> Dude, did you see, just sit, make up some Russian name mm-hmm. and be like, he's my favorite. And people are like, I don't think I've heard of it. Because you could go, I don't know. He's like, oh, he's B team. He's going to be huge next year. Mm-hmm. Say that forever. <laughs> you, you do know uh, it's true that Don Don doesn't actually lie. That's like, that's one of his personality staples. Is he, he does he just, not lie. 
So you're not going to lie moving forward? No, 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 no he just doesn't this, lie regardless. I, I, I with, this gold, lie. with this golden knight thing? No, if somebody probably, was like, you're... I'd probably uh, not do that for the bit, because I don't lie. Mm-hmm. That, that might be the thing I disrespect about you the most. Yeah. <laughs> and the list is extensive. <laughs> the mm-hmm. fact you don't lie. Mm-hmm. Because, because what, you've, what you've had to do to adapt to the fact that you have this weird moral pillar of not telling like white lies to make the, the drudgeries of life pass a bit smoother. Mm-hmm. You now like... Well, drudgeries lie for by, myself. Well, and everyone else. You lie by okay. omission now. Or you, or you have so like parts there, of truth. So you tell me there isn't one time where your girlfriend has done something where you're like, that's gross or disgusting. And he won't be, lie to her. So if she ever did that, you'd be like, that's just, you look horrible. You look <clears> fucked. <throat> I mean, you know, I don't like get into. I don't like dig in on her. Well, you know, you, you know, want to. It's it's certainly. I know you. Yeah, it's certainly complicated because I won't say, yeah, that looks great if I don't believe it. But yeah, you know, you're you're a little diplomatic. There's, there was room for diplomacy. That's that's, 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 uh, that's what I'm talking. Mm-hmm. Sometimes <laughs> you just you bend the rules of truth. Uh, uh, for any of my fucking super nerds out there who have read the Wheel of Time series, Don is an Aes Sedai. That's his whole fucking yeah, thing. Fucking, you think fucking, a single fucking, fucking person? There is like reference? fifty people who listen to this. They're gonna know. I'm sorry. All right, sound Nobody off. Is. Sound for, off. For any people who read the Percy Jackson series, <laughs> it's basically just like that. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody likes really bad literature, it is mm-hmm. super bad. The series I'm talking about. <laughs> Which one was that? The, the Wheel of Time. One. I didn't read that one. It was. It's, it's, it's just is. like yeah. the most cliche-ridden fantasy book of all time, but. There's like a. Little Could you have not have done any other like figure? Uh, is there any other figure that like is renowned for not being able to lie, but therefore like subverting the truth in intricate and oh, sneaky that, ways? Oh, that was Gandalf. Insane. Okay. Not true. Yeah. See you, dude. Not even Gandalf either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my point is, is weird, and I hate you. And who's the biggest liar? Is Hank Hill. Pisses me off. That's not true. Is that, that 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 is like the driver for conflict in ninety percent of King of the Hill? Episodes. You that is so far fetched. I've wa- I've been watching it. Every Peggy night Hill for is the main. Pe- yeah, Peggy is Hill is the bane of existence. Peggy, Hill Peggy is and Bobby the are the worst people. It's Peggy, Bobby, Bill, and Dale. Those are the biggest culprits. Okay. And let me tell you something. Hank Hill is a good man. <laughs> he lies when he has to because sometimes by telling a white lie, you help people. You, you give them satisfaction. You help them in ways. Because sometimes it isn't always about telling no, you, the truth. You, it's about, you, sometimes you have to tell people what they want to hear. You MacGuffin a plot, and then you've got 20 minutes of conflict around him sticking to his lie when he's supposed to be. Name like one. His. Give me one example. <sighs> I can tell you almost like 90 Peggy Hill ones. Sure. Yeah, those are the worst episodes. But you're trying to, but she's you, terrible. I'm not. I'm not debating that Peggy Hill is terrible. She's a terrible character. I mean, you she's said a good 90% character. 90% of the conflicts are from Hank. And here you came and draw up. Oh, you know, you know what? I will. The jury, I rest on, my case. On second thought, I will amend that maybe it's fifty percent Hank's fault. That's you just dropped forty percent with <laughs> no effort. Uh-huh. No, I just <laughs> I will bend the knee. It is two or three percent. I you, when we when we're watching an episode and it becomes clear that this is a Peggy episode, I'll often skip it. I just can't oh no, it. not at all. Because those are the ones usually where you see her cry and she acts like a fucking <laughs> idiot, and then it's just like, and then you know what happens? Mm-hmm. Hank has to do a white lie because he's like, "Yeah, Peggy, you're not a freak. You're so if your your girlfriend, I don't know, she's having a real mm-hmm. hard time about something. She's like, I just, I just don't think this is like X, and you're like, you're right, it's Y. Mm-hmm. But she just needs just like a little. It's not even something important. It's just something that would boost her a little bit, and that's fine. Well, yeah, you I mean, wouldn't give it. No, I mean you have to, you know, you have to do something. But yeah, I don't lie. Well, run me through how that. Where did this come from? Is this like a religious angle? <laughs> um, several years ago, I think it was uh, Sam Harris, yeah, probably. But just somebody talking about it really resonated me with it. Was it was originally who's, who's when Harris? I was when I was a kid, it was like religious. An intellectual guy. When I was a kid, it was religious. It was like a religious thing. But these days, it's more of just a philosophical thing. You've lied to me. I certainly have, yeah, but not not <laughs> in a while. So, mm. so there was that, and then I took on this philosophy because the underlying idea of it is if you never lie, then everyone takes what you're saying, and you know that comes the cost because if you never lie, then you say things that upset people and make them mad at you, and when you fuck up, you can't deny it or pretend it didn't happen. But it also, if people know that about you, they can just believe you every time you say stuff. Like that's that's the kind of like gain. From not lying. The the know. 
big drawback too, though, is that like it's kind of like you fucking hating everything. It makes when you like something special because we know, you know, that you're discerning. There's like, but you don't. But I, I guess I don't see. The but parallel. also at the same time, because he hates everything, I can never feel like he's ever coming from a place of like wanting to enjoy it either. Like there's sure. there's many times where I know he hates something, but I love it. And it but it, like, but you know, what when it I mean when well, it comes what's the to parallel, yeah. when it comes to like, um. And it, effectively, it's kind of its own honesty. It's like, do you like this drawing? Do you like this joke? Do you like blah, blah, blah for a cartoon? You will say, no, it's, it sucks. It's shit. You will be like as blunt and hurtful as anyone can be. <laughs> it's really funny because I try very hard not to be. <laughs> but when you, when you like it and you say, no, that's, that's, that's actually funny or no, I like that. Like, I believe it. Holy, because I How, know what's the parallel be, be, though? It's because I know you will not hesitate to. It's it's yeah, the that, same thing. It's that, that only works whenever it's from a, like I respect Tom's opinion. Like when I show him my stuff, even if it's horror, and I know he doesn't like it as much, right. I still respect his opinion because he's a good writer. He understands the flow of things. Yeah. If I asked Tom anything about like music or probably just about anything else in my life, I'd be like, I just don't give a shit because you mm -hmm. don't have you don't have the same taste as me and stuff. But but I mean, yeah, I, I guess I would argue that Tom is largely an honest person too because he is just he like is. abrasive and blunt. Mm -hmm. I'm more honest than you. <laughs> and I do lie. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you know what, Don? I'm going to take this philosophy and I'm going to apply it to my own life. I'm never going to lie. I did want to talk about Zulu. You're a pretty little thing. Because we did watch Zulu, and I wanted to... We did watch Zulu. We kind of, we kind of held our collective review until we could sit down and talk about it further. Yep. I, for one, was very disappointed. <clears throat> oh, I enjoyed it. I fun. thought there were some really cool shots, but I wanted it to be like a completely tasteless, belligerent, un belligerent unsubtle, just like Britain rah-rah film, but it yeah. was like very even-handed, to the point of lying. Several people got pretty angry and came out. It's really, Zulu is all. It was fair. It shows, it shows that they're both sides are honorable. Oh, I saw those comments too. I'm like, why don't you fucking get a grip? <laughs> it's a comedy podcast. God, are you guys serious? Like, talk about small dicks and stuff. Wait, you, you, your take on, there's like one guy who's like, your take on Zulu and the last samurai? It's like, yeah, no <laughs> shit, dude. It's like, comedy you, podcast. It's a yeah, funny yeah, yeah, like, dude. <laughs> Somebody well, on, if you say it, people are gonna believe it. Somebody on the the, the Cream Crew Reddit. Hey, there's a Cream Crew Reddit, by the way. Uh, r, Check it out. R slash Cream Crew. He wrote a fucking Wikipedia article about how it's like a great movie and historically accurate. And the rest it's not historically accurate. No, it's not. Those it's men not. would have been shouting some things that would but have made every every that modern was, day that, person that, uncomfortable. Immediately when I was watching it, that's what I said. I was like, this movie. <laughs> It would be a lot different script if mm. it was real. If it was in it. <laughs> there was like one tiny part where Michael <laughs> Caine's like, the cowardly blacks. And I feel like, that, oh, yeah, it's like, whoa. But it would be so much worse than that. It was funny that that was, it's just funny to think. Well, and that it was like never repudiated. Well, it was the by the bow well, well, yeah. And then he was like, oh, they, you know, yeah, they're like saluting us. Yeah. No, but I mean, no, just talking, just as like a like a racist streak guy, like it really wasn't touched on too much more after that. Oh, you know? like yeah, like a, by the and, way, and he's, he's also like, like a, he's, he's also <laughs> like a character turn around. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. see. Yeah, at the beginning he's like all racist and shit, and by the end it's like after he just manslaughtered like fucking thousands of Zulus that like come up and salute him, and he's just like, you know what? They're actually okay, in my book. But and he didn't. But he didn't say that. There no, was, there was, one, yeah, there was no. Well, he he's a good man. He learns from you know. I uh I did learn that the Zulus also had guns, and that turns the whole thing around, doesn't it? Huh? Well, they, yeah, they we we were saying we I I mean I was saying it was a slaughter, and you know it doesn't say it sounds like it wasn't a slaughter. Fair enough. Sounds yeah. like the you boys in red. You, yeah, Zulu, you got you got a few of them. So salute to you. Wait, who are you? Who are you? Saluting. He took. It better they, be the goddamn red coats. They, they, you know what? He said he's saluting the Zulus because they got a couple red coats. Mm -hmm. How dare you! How dare you? Push them back. You can push them out of your country. Form your own country. Get those those limeys out. <laughs> they did. And now the country's Zulu. crumbling. Mm -hmm. Zulu is one of those movies where people... Well, people, sometimes it goes right, sometimes it doesn't. Favorite part of Zulu, pop a bean in my mouth, was the age of the film and the action. The age of the film and the action, they, they blend together so well of the worst deaths I've ever seen acting-wise. Uh... Uh. <laughs> Literally, and it made it so enjoyable. Like I like <laughs> it was, it was good fun, and it um, I, it was just charming. It was a charming movie. 
It uh, was. I feel like I liked. There a lot was of some the good action in it too. Mm -hmm. I really didn't even have it. Like I mean, I like obviously you're a propped up to like the British the people, plucky Brits. But at the same time, they kind of like they really like show a bunch of respect to like. I, I feel like it was like a fun fight. That was the worst part <laughs> for you. I know. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me you would have had Hunter, more fun Hunter if it was, was terrible. Dude, Hunter was also complaining a lot. <clears throat> well. This is a stretching uh, my suspension of disbelief just a uh, tad here. I must say, Tom, I am a tad disappointed. That was that true. A, a at the beginning bit. because I was under the belief that this was going to be like immediately just like just a fun romp in Africa. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and also, like at the beginning, it has a very slow beginning. Basically, when you get to the halfway point, it gets worth it. Yeah, it's a, a product of the, its time for sure. It is, but just I, in the I worst remember ways. The, the beginning. It was like. So many scenes of like way too long dancing. Like that. Yeah, you gotta nothing. you gotta get appreciation for these people's culture. You can do that, but it was just so long. Like I was like, oh god damn. Yeah. Also the the like guy, like the the British dude and his like daughter who end up leaving anyways, like that could have been. They were completely... supposed to be Swedish, that was weird. Yeah. Oh were they? Oh yeah. Well. But in any case, yeah. Was... I don't know, I guess that's my my review on it. There was some actually to be fair, like really cool shots like I didn't expect it from a film so old. There were some really cool moments. Yeah, no, totally. Like when they were doing the flanks. So you have like two, you have the first rank and the second rank and what they do in this film anyway. And I'm probably sure in real life they the did bam it. And them. They're like bang. And then they drop. Those guys <laughs> and the fight. Guys and then they move pass. forward yeah, yeah. and the back ones stand up. It's just mm. fucking cool. I thought mm. you were talking more about like cinematography because there was a lot well, of Well, there great, was that as well. A lot of great landscape shots. The colors also, were awesome. Yeah, the color was vibrant and beautiful. Mm. That Technicolor, 60 Technicolor. The, uh, one thing I will say was there was a couple stunts that was like, I was like, shit, like the roaring fire in that building. Yeah, and like yeah. The having, fucking the, having the were main like, cast. Were like set like three really inches walk, away from yeah, this yeah, roaring fire. Crazy. And they're just like, come on, Hook, would you just come on already? He's like. <sighs> mm -hmm. Like runs out and there's just like, he's actually yeah, breathing and smoking fire. stuff. He's like, yeah, next <laughs> one. The, fu the funny thing is, is like for all the terrible deaths, there were some really cool fucking deaths. Yeah. And if they could just had the sense to focus on things they could do well, so good. My favorite so is many when the giant deaths. guy, yeah, yeah, was like facing death. He kills one guy, and then another, guy, like this huge fucking warrior guy is in front of him, and he's like, oh, oh, and then he just, and then you just see the guy like barely fall into frame, and then that's it. You know, yeah, there's no like shot to see. Yeah, yeah, it's the best death sounds sort of that. odd. Uh, uh, Oh, uh, oh! I, like I wonder if maybe that was like a, a technical limitation. Like they couldn't be screaming ADR because it would clip, you know. So they wanted clean. It probably audio. was. Also, it's just a like I was like wondering if if they showed it too much, if it would give him like a fucking like unbelievable explicit rating. Probably. Mm. I was thinking. I read that. a review and it's like if you can get over the gore and the horror, there's <laughs> a good film in there. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's someone just, gets sliced, but nothing happens, and they're just like, Argh. yeah, they get shot. There's like no bullet hole, but they're like, Argh. and then they do like a spin and die. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. That's probably still overacting. They were just like, uh, uh. and they try to do like the classic war thing where like someone dies trying to achieve something like worthless. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the guy was like, can I? Unbutton my blouse now, sir. And he's like, no. <laughs> it's just like it just did not work. So no, it dies in his way. Yeah. One, one thing, one of my favorite parts of the movie was the uh, these guys were like giving ammunition to everybody, mm -hmm. and they're like having a conversation. He's like, "We have a job to do now," and like there is come on, cheerio, slaughtering going on all around. Uh -huh. He's like, "It's our duty." And if we don't do our duty, then what? Are we well, that—I mean—that's realistic. That's well, just Britain. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. it's so funny. But like, then he gets like shot in the back. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and he's like, ah. did not drop <laughs> the British spirit for a second. No. Just like calmly, like here you go, chap. <laughs> he's like, there you go. <laughs> hey, hey, you go. And then like the guy's like, Gah! get shot. <sighs> and then like, and then he like, gets back up. He's like, eh, we can still do it. And it's like, buddy comes down and like a, a guy just like spears him in the stomach. He's like, ha. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, bloody <laughs> God help! That good Lord. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's how you build an empire. And Michael Caine's uh, his eyeshadow was great too. Yeah, stand out, mm -hmm. stand out actor Michael Caine's eyeshadow. He was a pretty dude back in the day. 
Oh, yes. He's a handsome man. Do you know he basically saw his... He saw his then future wife in like a modeling catalog and tracked her down, which in the 1960s is no mean feat. He tracked down this fucking model You're and married quite her. You're beautiful. I like the look of you, me do. It'd be funny if he was if he did the exact Joker line. <laughs> Some men just want to watch the world. She's like, Burn. oh. She's like, okay. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, sir, I'm trying to get my coffee. He's like, garden the coffee. <laughs> That was kind of I how courtship was done back then. Yeah, Borderline exactly. rape. Yeah, yeah. That, that's like that's the great thing about James Bond is him just like fucking all those chicks, and he's yeah. just like, he's like, we're having sex now. <laughs> They're like, okay. Like, I don't, right. I don't think I want to. And he's like, stop it. And he just like makes out. With Yo, her. stop it. And then, and then she's just <laughs> o- over overcame with. She's just she's like, I do lost. want it. I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just like fucking strangling her throat. What point? In I'm an agent. <laughs> Secret <laughs> agent. Look at my badge. What point in history do you think, like, if you could pinpoint the exact year, it all went wrong? What do you mean? Well, you know that used to be the correct way to court. Yeah, really. And now we're what like, do you mean, went asking wrong? for consent and all what, went wrong is in that stopped happening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, dude. We're having fun. I would say that I would say uh, 1990 something. Really? Through the 80s, it was definitely like that too. Yeah, you're Come on, right. Becky. Like, just would you suck my dick already? Well, I don't really feel like I want to. Come on, all the other well, guys e- you do. Even it. that though, that's begging. James never begged. He took. Well, because he's a man of power. I mean, I still think yeah. people probably begged back in the day. Well, uh, you think Reagan? Cinema. You think Reagan begged? No. Well, wait, I wanna. No, you're eat right. Your butt. But Reagan, Reagan was like old at that point. So, still a man of power. Well, he came well, from that time period. Well. Oh, that's true. Well, okay. Well, what about all the '80s bands? Motley Crue. You think he was just like? Yeah, that yeah, was, was, was what I was going to say. Vince Neil. Mo- Motley, Motley, Motley Crue ah, probably just <laughs> pouring down her top. <laughs> like, oh wow, Motley Crue. He's like, ah, that's, my <laughs> that's that's my impression of Vince Neil by backstage. This is this is Vince Neil, 1984 backstage. <laughs> well, you convinced me. Gas, gas, gas. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate, yeah. And then he killed that guy. What? He killed someone? Yeah, he was in a. He's like driving somebody home, and he fucking. Killed oh, like every a celebrity gets one of those. Mm. Hardly noteworthy. That's not true. That's true. I, even though Matthew Broderick did do that, they and killed so a they couple. Did Bruce didn't, didn't someone else like fall out of a window, hey, and hey, it was hey, definitely Jenner. their fault? And mm, I don't know. Crew, like, I, know. I just know Vince neither. Like it was like, mm-hmm. and then he got away with it, and that's what made it so infamous. Is like he didn't. Mm-hmm. He never even served jail time. Mm-hmm. He's like, come on, Yana. Gas, gas, gas. <laughs> What's your next movie pick? I was either well, I was been I was like think we could watch like a cut like some episodes of Kenny versus Spinny. Oh uh, yeah. I was thinking that, or I was thinking the Whaling. I'm gonna. My next <clears throat> is Zulu too. <laughs> <laughs> the Revenge, Re- of Zulu. Re- Revenge of the Africans. They, mm-hmm. they, they like it's like the it's Michael Caine's character that's like 30 years. It's like this movie's in the 90s now. He, like looks out his window. There's black people walking around. <laughs> no, it's like just the army running through the cobble streets, fucking stabbing people. They're back! <laughs> Zulu! Yeah, he just smashes out his window, grabs his fucking musket off the wall. <laughs> if it's made the early 2000s, he has like a long fucking late Leather 90s. Tr- yeah. the red trench coat. Underworld blade era, sitting there like the handguns that are machine guns as well. <laughs> this time, the Africans are in Britain. They're all vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Blackula's everywhere. No, <laughs> <laughs> I like that bit. Black is everywhere. Fucking no response. <laughs> just silence. What? Well, I, I say you know, something. You know how sweet that beat though. He's just like, "We'll come for you, Michael Caine." They just call Michael Caine in the movie. They just changing it. We'll come for you, Michael Caine. He's like, "I'd like to say you try." And he fucking puts a stake right on his chest. He's just like, "Oh, right on it." At some point, he has to get the band back together too. He's got to get all the other old timers from Zulu back on side, like that sergeant guy who's like. You're, he pushes his chin. You're still alive. It's not a time for joking around. I'm now. He would fucking slaughter loads and then die. Get out of here. Run. They're taking over the sewers. Uh, I'll protect us. They're taking over the sewers. Sewers. The sewers. Like inside the sewers, like, you know, giant, like, trudging through the water. Colonel, come on. No. <laughs> I think he's like, go on. Hurry. Skit, skit, and dental. I got some stuff to do. I'll have them here. <laughs> I got some stuff I have to take care of. God, he's... 
<laughs> Just shackled down. Uh, go on. Yeah. He <laughs> uh, uh. gets turned into a vampire. Zulu <laughs> 2, oh Electric Boogaloo. Oh, you're going there. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not just going there. That's that was the concept. They're all. The well, I just mean like vampires. I felt like you were gonna say he turns into a black vampire. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Yeah. Is that what, oh, yeah, you can't just turn into a he vampire. Turns black. Like, what's the fucking point? You're yeah. like, hello. <laughs> 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 what's the point, Hunter? I can rap if, now. Uh, if we're doing the movie, we're doing <laughs> the movie. It's Zulu too. I can dance and jump high. We can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. <laughs> and if your friends don't dance, Carlo. <laughs> He's like, you're black now. <laughs> what happened? What happened? I like basketball and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I can dance. <laughs> we can dance. We can you dance. can see how high I can jump. Impressive. I can run very fast. <laughs> I've never ridden a train before. <laughs> Anything else, Colonel? <laughs> 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 well, I'm going to put a stop to that. Boom. We can dance if it's like a sad verse of the credits. We can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. <laughs>